Well, good morning. First of all, if you don't have a handout, I want to make sure you have uh, the quick facts about the discussion. As you all know, the, the last over 12 months I've been talking about, you know, my, my focus has been on facility renovations. And uh, obviously we're underway at Milan Pushkar Stadium at Mountaineer Field. That construction's uh, ongoing and, and obviously will be the north as, as well as the east side will be ready at the beginning of the 2016 season and then having the turf replaced uh, beginning of this season as well. A lot of things that we've been spending the last 12 months on is, is this facility, the Coliseum, which is 46 years old. Um, we felt it was time for you know some updates and, and looking at different things that we could do with uh, the Coliseum. I do want to point out that it was just not by myself, Kelly Cunningham, Mike Zuhl, April Messerly, Mike Frigail, uh, just to name a few, has spent a number of hours in the last 12 months uh, meeting with our architect, as you see, is AECOM out of Kansas City on the, the Coliseum renovations as well as a new weight room and talking about the shell building and what we're going to do in, in those facilities. So a lot of, of countless hours has been spent to, to come to this point. You know, we thought it was time to, to roll out to you all as the, the media and fans to, to be able to see what's going to happen here in the next, uh, starting in the next couple of weeks and then going through the start of uh, the basketball season next year. So just looking at your quick facts real quick, um, the start date, as I mentioned, we're, we're days away from that happening. Um, our projected start date is going to be in the middle of March, right after uh, we finish basketball season here, wrap that up. Uh, middle of March, uh, we'll start the renovations to, to the Coliseum. We'll be in a construction zone, so this whole concourse will, will start to be renovated and we'll start moving forward with that construction. And then the construction will be finished by the uh, first tip-off around the 1st of November uh, for basketball season, uh, starting with the 2016 season. So that's our, our timeline right now. As I mentioned, the architect is AECOM. The construction manager at risk is Gilbane Building. And a lot of graphics that I'll talk about and show you here is dimensional graphics that, that we talked about. The estimated cost of this is approximately $15 million. This is coming from the bond money that has been set aside. Uh, we started out with about approximately $75 million in, in bond money. We said we were going to raise approximately another $25 uh, million in private funding to do some things, which, which I'll talk about that later on as well. So this is just the, uh, the start for this Coliseum and, and where we're heading in the future with that. The, uh, the current restrooms, I've talked about restrooms, I've talked about concession stands. Just to give you a little facts about that, currently right now, there are 62 total fixtures and one family restroom in the Coliseum. After these renovations, we'll have 155 total fixtures, uh, and all of them will be ADA accessible in four family restrooms. So we more than double the amount of, of restroom fixtures that we currently have. So I know that's been uh, uh, an issue for our fans coming to the game and the, and the, the long lines in restrooms, the long lines in concession stands as well. Uh, the points of sale, we're currently at, uh, you know, the uh, 28, we go to more than 52 points of sales uh, as well in the Coliseum. So doubling the points of sales, and I'll talk about how that will look in the renovations as we move forward. Uh, that's all part of phase one. Part of phase two will be the, the ADA seating. And currently we're at 42 ADA seating, and we, we go to over 164 seats in phase two. Just real briefly, phase one will include the outer concourse, which will happen this year. Phase two will be the inner bowl with the ADA seating and look at, at premium seating in phase two, which will start next year at the same time in March and then finish before the 2017 season is our uh, projected timeline with that. So stay tuned for, for more information as we move forward. But we do look at, at planning adding more premium seats along with the ADA seating. Uh, in the Coliseum starting next year in phase two. Page two of this, we'll just kind of go through the new concession amenities and I'll, I'll walk through some slides with you there about the Mountaineer Cafe, the Country Roads Pit Stop, et cetera, the new concession stands and, and what those will look like during the presentation. 
Also, the ticketing and, and team store, just some quick facts, which I'll touch on in the presentation here about the, the, uh, the uh, places in the concourse. Some quick facts about the uh, new weight room and athletic training room. Again, this will, will start in June of 2016 is our projected date with the weight room. I uh, hope to have that completed by January of 2017 at an estimated cost of, of about $5 million for the weight room. That'll be a freestanding building. I'll show you renderings of that here in a second. Um, just to put the numbers in perspective, currently the Coliseum, as well as the Shell building, the total uh, square footage of that is about 4,583 square feet. The new weight room will be over 12,000 square feet of space in our new weight room. So that almost triples the size or of, of the current weight rooms that we currently have. Uh, the training room, athletic training rooms, currently we're at 2,100 uh, square foot. That all doubles in size as well, more than doubles to roughly 4,700 square feet for our Olympic sports in, in that athletic training room, which will be over at the, the Shell Building area. And then last, which I'll touch on, is just the, the uh, kind of the last project is, is the Shell Building as we move that direction and some of the things that uh, is anticipated, the changes in the Shell Building as we move forward. So with that, I do want to walk you through some of the renovations and, and what it entails. As you look at picture number one, it's the, the Coliseum front. It's the new gold gate. It'll have new windows, a new ticketing area. It's a new exterior entrance to the ticket office. So you have a, you know, behind glass here, and then the, the ticket windows will be in, the, in that area. So you can come in from outside elements, come in to purchase your tickets, and then directly proceed in from, into the Coliseum uh, concourse area from that, that, that front lobby. Um, so that, that will, will take care of uh, the outside at the, at the Gold Gate. The picture two is kind of existing Blue Gate, what we currently have with our gates right now. As you see, we have the double doors. You enter the doors, you have the hallway, then you enter the, the second. Those double doors are, you know, it's a very confined area. It bottlenecks once you walk through this second uh, set of doors into the uh, Coliseum concourse area. It gets to be very crowded and, and uh, bottlenecked in that area. So what we're going to do is the new blue gate, what that will look like. As you'll see there, it's a wider concourse. It eliminates the bottleneck. You only have the one set of doors coming in. It's new way of uh, finding signage throughout the stadium, Coliseum, uh, added touches of color and graphic in, in the new ceiling uh, area. So it brightens it up, widens the concourse, have new signage. As you'll note, we are going to renumber the uh, inner bowl area to the 100 level and the 200 level. Uh, currently, it's odd even. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Fans get lost in the Coliseum now trying to find their sections. So we believe that you know, renumbering the, the, uh, the bowl area, section 100 obviously is the lower, 200 is the upper, and, and having that uh, uh, new way of finding uh, signage will, will help throughout there. Picture three is again just uh, the older concourse, what it looks like. It's very narrow. This is outside the, the ticket office. As I mentioned before, it gets very crowded as we go through there. This is the new canteen. What we're going to do is take that area, move the walls out, and that's the new uh, uh, extending the concourse to, you know, for wider walking spaces. Which you'll notice, oops, which you'll notice, you know, in here is what we currently have. As you see, you add a lot of additional space in here, moving that to the back outside walls. Uh, you know, it eliminates the, the, the long lines and the, the queuing in those lines for the concession stands out of the middle of the hallway and pushes them to the outer ring to, to allow more free movement of the fans as they walk the concourse area. The canteen will offer updated amenities and, and more points of sale. As you can see here, you know, there's more points of sale uh, just along that line. As I mentioned before, it, it almost doubles the number of points of sales that we currently have and moves the, the traffic out. The next is the Gold Gate interior. I showed you a minute ago the exterior where the ticket office window will come in. You'll come into the, the Gold Gate, which will be a, another new entrance to the Coliseum. Obviously the Blue Gate will still be there. 
the, the gold gate will be where the ticket office is actually located. Also, there'll be uh, guest services, first aid sections uh, for the fan experience. We talked about the, the wayfinding signage. Uh, this will become another uh, main gate. As you can see, we're putting the WV in, in the, the flying WV in the ceiling as you come in. And again, adding touches of color you know, throughout the concourse as you come into the, to the gold gate area. The new ceiling, as I mentioned with the WV, is something that, that I think is pretty cool and, and the fans will really like that. The next is the country roads, pit stop and team shop. Uh, you know, kind of put this in perspective right now, this is where the Jerry West Lounge is, is located. The team shop will be adjacent to that. This is kind of a, a new uh, brand of concession idea that's a kind of a grab and go convenience style type of, of a concession area. You can go in, you can grab your popcorn, you can grab your, your drink or a hot dog, then you take it up to the counter and, and you purchase it and move along. Kind of like what you see at some airports, different things as you go through uh, a different type of convenience, grab and go uh, type of, of uh, concession area. So that's a new uh, uh, type of thing that we're adding in here. Again, it gets the concession lines out of the main hallway, so you have more free flowing uh, to get around the concourse. And it'll provide quick access to the concessions and offer new amenities that we haven't had here at the Coliseum for a number of years. The new red gate. Again, this is this area as, as we walk here. Um, again, the double doors are eliminated. As you'll see right now, that's where the current elevator shaft is that goes uh, to the third floor as well as to the, uh, the plane surface. Uh, so that will remain. I will tell everybody who's ridden that elevator one thing I said that was not going to be out of the construction is the new uh, mechanicals for that elevator. Uh, if you've been on that ev elevator, it takes a long time to go up and down. So that will uh, receive a lot of new mechanicals to, to be a lot quicker. So. We look forward to that. The uh, one thing that's not shown on here, the, the, the areas I showed on some of the uh, other things is more TVs, more access when you're in the concourse area, when you're at the concession stands. I've heard from fans, you, you miss the game, you go to the concession stand area, you're standing there, you can't see the, the game if it's going on, you hear the crowd, but you can't watch the, the, the competition. So we will have a lot of, of TVs throughout the concourse in the concession stand areas, which I think one picture here will, will show you, but that uh, again kind of shows you what we're working in in this area. This is the Mountaineer Cafe. Again, it's, it's one of the, the four uh, new concession areas that, that we have. The, uh, it's a new sports bar type of concession with seating and, and, uh, and televisions. You know, they'll be, you know, throughout here, you can see some of the televisions there. It gives a, the, the fans a place to visit before and after the games. So it's kind of a set down area that you can have there. Uh, take concessions lined out of the main traffic flow. Again, that's our, our main focus as we work through this project is moving everything out of, out of the main concourse hallways, moving it back in into the, the hall or outer halls so that you have more free flowing traffic for the fans. This will also serve as an area for our student athletes on non-game days to be able to get their training table meals. Currently, they're eating at the uh, Jerry West Lounge. This will be the area that they'll come to uh, to have their, their training table meals on non-game days. So this will give them ample space to, to be able to sit down and enjoy their meals of training table outside of, of game day activities. This is the Almost Heaven Bistro. Again, this is more like your typical uh, concession stand area. As I mentioned, the TVs is something that was very important that I thought and, and others thought that we have when you're in the concession lines to make sure that uh, you can see the game, see what's going on in the Coliseum Bowl area uh, while you're standing in line for the, uh, uh, your hot dog or whatever you may be purchasing there. Um, so anyway, it's just, it's, again, focusing on the traffic flow, pushing this to the back wall to make sure that you have more free flowing uh, space there. We talked a little bit about now the Coliseum as a whole. This takes us to the, the downstairs part. And again, just to, to emphasize, as I, I talked about earlier, the, the picture as this showed you was part of the bond money. 
these pictures, the next couple is just the locker room area, which was privately funded to do the new locker room area. This will be the new men's basketball locker room. If you've been in the old locker room, you'll notice it has a team lounge, different things. Now with the, the basketball practice facility, they have their lounges, they have uh, their practice uh, locker room over there. This will just be used as their game day locker room to update it, give it new look. Um, again, with the flying WV, the, the glass you know, lockers, new bench area, new flooring to come in, make it a lot wider space for our student athletes on game day um, in that locker room there. This will be the women's area. The women's area obviously had some updates in, in the past couple of years. This is just updating some of theirs as well, giving it a new fresh look uh, in the women's basketball area. And uh, as you usually notice, it's, it's kind of flowing, not only where the locker rooms be done, but outside in the hallways, that main hallway, and then the, uh, the video room or team room, um, conference room there between the two locker rooms will also be updated in part of this project. And this will also occur, this timeline is the same as it is for the Coliseum here. We'll start the renovations on that here in the next couple weeks. The projected date for that to be finished will be in November of uh, 16 as well. This just kind of gives you uh, a 3D look. You can see the different locations I was talking about. Gives you more of the, the, the free flowing here. As we, we're sitting right in here right now. This is the red gate. We're in this room right here, which will be totally taken out. As you can see from the concourse, how much wider that will be. Talking about the restroom fixtures and what this means for the, the, the concourse area. As you can see, there's restroom fixtures behind here, the concession areas. So that's where we're getting the additional restrooms in addition to what we have around the, the concourse that we currently have and then adding some of those uh, restrooms to uh, rooms in there. One thing I didn't mention is some of these offices, different things, we are moving staff. There will not be any offices located on this main concourse area. Since uh, CPAS has moved out of the Coliseum, we do have the extra space upstairs. We're turning that into uh, more administrative offices. There'll be two new uh, conference rooms. So meetings like this, they'll be now on the second floor with a, kind of like a room 172 upstairs, uh, which will be about this size, as well as a new conference room. Some new offices for our coaches. Um, the academic center is also upstairs being added to more space in the academic center for our student athletes uh, as part of this project as well. As you can see, I was talking about the different concession stands. You know, this is the, the team shop. And again, you can see how it, it pulls everybody back. This is the grab and go. Um, and then the Mountaineer uh, lounge is back here. So that kind of shows you the, uh, the layout from a, a 3D version of, of what it would look like. The Blue Gate, obviously we're saying the same with, with Jerry West and Hot Rod out front. And then the Gold Gate will become the, the more of the ticket area and having the, the inside access to, to come in, purchase your tickets uh, from that. Going on to the weight room, again, in your fact sheets, uh, quick facts, you have some of the information there. This will be located uh, next to the wrestling pavilion and shell building. It's a brand new standalone building, uh, more than 12,000 square feet. It'll give our Olympic sport athletes the, the proper room they need to condition. Um, you know, a new look, obviously driving up the boulevard. This will be one of the first buildings that you'll see coming up the boulevard from the outside. So right now, as you can see behind it, that's where the track, the wrestling pavilion on the, on the back side of that is where the, um, the shell building is currently located. So right in here, as you walk across the street, is, is, the, uh, is the Coliseum on this side of it. Here's a quick shot from the inside, what the inside will look like. Um, again, we have some, some track and timing lanes in here. If you've been in the uh, football weight room, similar to that where you have uh, some timing lanes and a, a small, small track there. Of course, the new weights, new uh, fueling station and nutrition area for our student athletes. You know, one of the things when I came here, one of the, the primary focuses of when I walked in is looking what our student athletes, especially our Olympic sports student athletes, had to train in 
course, the, you got the Coliseum weight room, uh, which is very narrow, very closed in. You have the weight room at the, uh, the Shell building, which is in a tiered room, probably not much bigger if you've never been in it, and this size of the room. And I looked at it and felt like, you know, our Olympic sport athletes, which make up, you know, 350 to 400 student athletes, it was time for an enhanced area for, for those sports and for those student athletes. So this is where this kind of was born and, and we moved from. So they're excited about that. In addition is the training room. Um, again, quick facts about that was in your, your quick fact sheets. But, you know, it's more than doubles the size of our, our antiquated one. It uh, has the ability to treat our student athletes uh, with the room to spare and, and will work in conjunction with our other athletic training facilities on campus. So again, this is in the, the current shell uh, building area and it, as I said, doubles in size and, and makes that a lot, a lot larger.